So hi guys, it's Chloe again. And me, JV. Hi. And Crunch on the cut. <laughs> yeah. So sometime in January this year, we went to Japan and visited Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. And we saw a lot of castle, shrine, temples, and tasted a lot of good Japanese food. But the highlight of our trip is go-karting in the streets of Tokyo. Yeah, and for three hours, we were driving around the streets of Tokyo in our cute Pokemon costumes. So we were both Pikachu the time from the Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, and we saw, we saw the, the Tokyo Tower, the Shibuya Crossing, the Rainbow Bridge, and it all depends on what kind of package you buy from the company. So now guys, we will teach you on how to avail this experience in Tokyo. And we will try also to answer the question, is it really worth your money and time? So we will now show you the steps on how you can avail this wonderful experience. So step number one. Step number one, you must be a licensed driver. You must definitely know how to drive a car and a license holder. Go to your licensing office and secure an international driver's permit. You must specifically ask the officer if your international driver's permit is recognized in Japan. Here are the following international driver's licenses not valid in Japan. If you are living here in the UAE, like us, you can simply go to the website posted in the description link below and simply apply online and they will deliver to you your international license in less than a week. It is usually a blue booklet which you pay around 170 dirhams. The booklet license is valid for one year and can be used in many other countries like USA, UK, Europe, etc. Should you want it as soon as possible, you can go to any UAE postal office and they will immediately issue your international license booklet in just about 10 minutes. You need to bring your printed one international driver's license form, copy of Emirates ID, passport and valid residency, copy of driver's license, and two pieces passport photos. Pay the 170 dirhams fee, then they will give you your international driver's license booklet. Usually, they would suggest getting the white booklet, which they say can make you drive in Japan, but for our experience, the blue booklet was already accepted by the go-kart company. Although we still carried the white booklet with us, just to be sure, you may get the white booklet from the Automobile Touring Club office free of charge just by presenting the blue booklet. Step 2. Book with a street card company in Japan. Choose which company you like. Some companies will ask you for payment reservation, but with the company we book, no advance payment was required from us. For our experience, we book with street card located in Shinkiba, Tokyo. We messaged them on Facebook and they were responsive and gave us all the details needed. You can find the address in the description link below. They have different packages but they will message you first to confirm if you qualify for driving in Japan. So we took the KL course package which takes us about 2.5 to 3 hours. Our course starts from the warehouse, then travels to Rainbow Bridge, Odaiba, Tokyo Tower, Shibuya Crossing, Tokyo Gate Bridge, then back to the warehouse. The package costs 13,000 yen, but if you promise to review the company on social media, they would only charge you 11,000 yen. But you would have to give an extra 500 per head for a one-time Step 3. Arrival at the warehouse. Be sure to arrive 15 minutes before your scheduled time as the tour will leave strictly on time. Bring with you your original international driving permit and your original passport. Failure to present this will not allow you to drive. Also note that you must be sober to participate. Avoid hangovers so you can join. You cannot drive if you fail the alcohol test. We chose this company because, number one, you don't need to pay advance. 
Number two, this is the street cart company that the late Marvel Heroes creator, Mr. Stanley, also experienced. You can search for it on YouTube. The trip starts at the warehouse with briefing and donning of costumes you like. Personally, we chose the Pikachu costumes. I was looking for a Super Mario and Princess costume, but they seemed not to have it. Other characters like Piccolo and Stitch were available. Step 4. Orientation After donning the costumes, you would be oriented by your tour guide on how the go-kart works. It is easy. Left foot for the brake, right foot for us. The guide will also teach you his hand gestures that you should follow. If he raises one finger, that means all of you behind should make a single line. If he raises two fingers, that means all of you behind should drive in parallel formation. It is illegal in Japan to use your phone while driving. For this, you don't have to worry because the guides will use their phone oh. to capture your go-karting moments. You can bring a GoPro and attach it to your head. They wouldn't suggest a GoPro attached to the go-kart though as you would be sometimes traveling around the speed of 80 km per hour in long roads and cross bumpy roads. Your GoPro camera might fall off the go-kart. It is then best to have it attached to your head. You can rent a GoPro with them or simply rent the head accessory if you already have a GoPro camera with you. During winter time, be reminded that the streets of Japan are very cold and you would need to bundle up in warm clothing. Step number 5. Driving the streets. Always drive responsibly. There have been accidents involving go-karts, bumping with cyclists, thus getting the nerves of some people. Always be careful as you are sharing the road with millions of people using it. The best part of our experience was driving Rainbow Bridge as you get to speed up your go-kart and feel that you are racing. Driving under the iconic Tokyo Tower was also a great photo opportunity for all of us. Lastly, driving at Shibuya Crossing on the busy hours of Japan gave us a glimpse on how huge the number of people cross that street every day. It was a great experience and was worth our money and time. But driving for 3 hours was a bit toxic for us as the fumes from the go-kart made us a bit dizzy. We should have taken the lesser hours package. But anyway, we enjoyed so much and it is not something that you can do in other countries. Step 6. Return your costumes, grab your photos from the tour guide, and don't forget that you promise to review them on social media. Thank you for watching. Okay, so he was our guide. Hey, Sam. Sam. So Sam here was our guide, and he really did a good job here at the street cart in Tokyo Bay. So, thanks. Oh, no, you, you're both great drivers, so thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going, she bombed your last time. Oh, the, the, the first time, <laughs> that's okay. Handle the break. See you again next time. Sam. Yeah, see you next time. Thank you.